Hello and welcome to the latest cereal and oilseed market update. I hope you're all doing absolutely brilliant. Since the start of the year, we've seen global commodities severely pressured. The pandemic labeling of the coronavirus has seen volatility within a lot of global commodities. From the coronavirus, we've seen heated political discourse amongst energy exporting countries. This has significantly pressured crude oil markets as the supply is exceeding current demand. This in turn has pressured vegetable oil markets, which has had an adverse effect on domestic rapeseed pricing. Since the new year, we have seen rapeseed prices pressured in line with crude oil. Although the recent weakening of the pound against the euro has helped shelter some of the UK's domestic prices. Lately though, we have seen fundamentals of demand cause some vegetable oils, such as palm oil, to diverge away from crude oil. This week, there's been a slight uptick on crude oil, as the US are launching an effort with Saudi Arabia to stabilise oil prices. Political events surrounding the coronavirus outbreak will affect crude oil prices in the short term. Last week, we saw the pound significantly weaken as demand for the dollar surged. This was due to cash removal from equities and commodities. As financial markets are pressured, the dollar is seen as a safe haven. In the short term, the pound will now be very much dependent on the short to medium term impacts of the coronavirus, which will inherently affect domestic wheat prices. Aside from currency, fundamental demand has supported global wheat markets, as there is an increased demand from panic buying. Yesterday, on the 24th of March 2020, the May UK wheat futures contract closed at £163.50 per tonne while the November contract closed at £173 per tonne. Moreover, as we head further into the season, weather will be a key watch point. Crop development in the Northern Hemisphere in general seems to be developing well. The looming threat of winter kill in the Black Sea region is slowly being reduced as we head into spring. In forthcoming weeks, it will be paramount to observe if recent dry weather in this region continues. Weather in the US within the coming weeks will also be a key watch point as planting intentions around maize and soybeans could be influenced by this. The price ratio between November and December Chicago futures contracts are similar to last year and the premium price of soybean does not offer a significant incentive, which means maize should be the favoured crop. But due to adverse planting conditions experienced during last year's planting window, the USDA are predicting a rise in both plantings for maize and soybeans. For maize, a preliminary record production is forecast, with increased S exports and higher ending stocks. Recent dry conditions in South America has allowed Brazil to progress with their soybean harvest, which is ahead of the historic average. But this dry weather will be something to monitor as Argentina harvests their maize crop and Brazil prepare to plant their larger second maize crop. For more information and to keep up to date with the latest news, please visit the Cereals and Oilseed Market webpage on the AHDB website.